This is a quick tutorial on how to install Deco Planner using the Wineskin application. Um, so if you haven't gotten Deco Planner downloaded, go ahead and do that. And what I've done is I've just put it in a folder here that I somewhere where I could find it. And you want to make sure you know where the setup exec uh, executable file is located. So just keep that in mind for future. So go ahead and do that. The next step is to go to the Wineskin website and uh, you're going to want to click downloads a uh, downloads area and that's going to take you to this exact page and then the next thing you're going to want to do is click this uh, this link here and um, of course depending on when you see this video or tutorial it may have changed so just kind of do your best to find that and so we're going to click it and that's going to take you to a mirror site which will quickly download the wineskin application and once it's finished, um, you should be able to click here and see that. And of course, I've downloaded it a few times now. And so what I've done is I'll just go into my downloads in my finder window. And then you can drag this into your applications area. And that does take a few seconds to, to show up here. Uh, there it is. So now we're going to click that and close some other stuff. And now here's the warning that you may get um, because it's an open source software. And so um, we're just going to go ahead and hit open. Um, so I think we're okay with that. And get rid of some of these windows here. And um, because I've already installed this software, it uh, is already populated with these engines. Um, so we're going to say it's not. What you're going to get if you haven't done this before is this is going to be both both of these areas will be blank, and uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is click this plus button and then hit download and install. Hit OK, and this will uh, download these updates here. And then um, when you do yours, you'll have this update button which will allow you to to update this. And so once you have these two things done you're going to want to create a blank, uh, a new wrapper. And then what I did is I just called this uh, Eco Planner. I think it was uh, 3.14 or something like that. We'll just say Deco Planner 3, and you hit OK. There we go. And this does take a couple minutes. And what this will do, once it's done doing its thing, is it will actually put a, um, it'll create an application in your um, launch pad called Deco Planner. Actually, this one's launching it, which is good. So you want to you want to click it when it does pop up, and then it'll again take a few minutes to um, do its thing. Not quite sure what it's doing, but Okay, so it created it, and so we're just going to hit OK, and then you can minimize that. So it should be here, right, so it's uh, now it's in your applications area. So just click that. Uh, we'll just give it a couple more minutes. Sometimes it takes a second try. Okay, so you notice that I had to click it twice. I'm not sure if that's a little bug or what's going on with that, but... Um, it uh, maybe it just didn't fully uh, finish populating in that applications area, but anyway. So what we're going to do is the next thing is to install software, and this is where you're going to choose that executable that I had mentioned earlier. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, find that. So I had that in my documents under scuba. 
Eco Planner. Find that executable. Hit Choose. And then uh, it's just going to do its thing here. So you'll get a couple of these. Um, this pops up. Click this button here. Just hit continue. And now it's installing Deco Planner on your computer. It's done. So now when you um, click this again, it should launch, if everything is done right, it should launch the Deco Planner. Hit OK. There it is. So that's that. Um, hope you enjoyed that. Um, please let me know if you have any questions.